Before we get into the details of Canada's budget, let's go over some important concepts and terms. First, you must understand the specific responsibilities of the federal government compared to the responsibilities of your province or town. The federal government is responsible for matters of national concern, such as defense, international trade, and Canadian heritage and official languages. Major provincial responsibilities include health care and education. Local concerns like garbage pickup or water are the responsibility of your city or town. To deliver on our responsibilities, the federal government must spend money, and this spending is known as expenditures. This year, the federal government has expenditures of approximately $276 billion. In order for us to pay for Canada's expenditures, the government collects money from individuals and businesses through taxes and other forms of income or profits. The money we receive or earn is called our revenue. Revenue in 2011 was $248.8 billion. Now with any budget, even a personal one, you can have a surplus or a deficit. A surplus occurs when you have more revenues than expenditures. A deficit happens when you have more expenditures than revenues or when you are spending more than you are earning. The deficit in 2011-12 was $26.2 billion. While no one wants to have a deficit, it is sometimes necessary in order to ensure citizens receive the services they rely on. At other times, during the recent global recession, deficits are caused by governments spending money to boost the economy. At the moment, we believe that we will be out of a deficit and into surplus in the medium term. When you have a deficit, you need to borrow money to cover the shortfall. The money you borrow becomes your debt. Canada's current debt is approximately $602 billion. Now that we have gone over some key concepts, let's move on to look more closely at Canada's revenues and expenditures.